<laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know. Let's see if we can kill these few minutes with um something that makes sense. Listen to this. You're no good, heartbreaker. You're a liar and you're a cheat. And I don't know why I let you do these things to me. My friends keep telling me that this ain't no good. But oh, they don't know. That I leave here if I could. I guess I'm uptight. Well, I'm not now, and I'm stuck like glue. I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome. To the mental house. Let's deal with our mentals today, y'all. Who's trying to pee on us and tell us that it's raining, huh? I'd like to welcome you, each and every one of you, whatever, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on. I want to thank you for visiting the mental house today. May your day be safe and filled with love. I know it seems so dark and it is glory, gloomy and and gloomy and bleary, as they say. However, once you understand how the matrix goes, you should be able to rescue yourself from impulsive thoughts. And I just want to challenge everybody out here today, regardless of your color, whether you're black or whether you're white, because I believe that we're all precious. We're all precious in the sight and on the scale of the universe. Now, what role you want to take is totally up to you because you got free will. But I don't want to hear another person. And, and this is for my white brothers and sisters. I do not want to hear another one of y'all talking about how violent something is. This country was built on violence. Don't y'all, are y'all that crazy? That you don't realize how we got here? Or are you still trying to piss on everybody and think that they're still stupid enough to think that it's raining? The internet was a blessing from God. The technology to allow all the lies to be uncovered. I mean, you couldn't help but come out with COVID and unleash something on them because you can't control the people once the information has been out of how big of liars you are, how big of adulterers you are, how big of thieves that you are, how big of murderers that you are. You cannot run from that history. You cannot. And it's just crazy to me. That are people who have done so much thievery, murder, robbery, other other worlds, humanitarian, other family, the human family, would sit back on some throne and act like, well, we don't feel safe, and uh, uh, we're they're trying to darken up America. Uh, don't you realize this was a dark place before you got your ass here, before Christopher Columbus, thieving, lying. Murderous, horn ass, sailed the ocean blue in 1492. People were here with a culture, a name, a language, mores. And you came and stole them and beat them and took them. Mass genocide, violence, violence, 
violence. And now today you cannot find a, a barely find a Native American walking down the streets. Who are y'all to talk about violence? Then you went your ass and stole some slaves and brought them over here with the help of some wicked uh, black uh, uh, genocidal uh uh, people in Africa, then you brought them over here and turned them into your damn slave. But that's okay. We built America. And I'm not going to ever be ashamed of my relative for putting it down. They put it down through violence. They endured so much violence. They endured so much suffering, rape, mayhem, burning, lynchings, splitting, Taking one leg of a horse, tie it, and take another leg and tie it to a horse, and smack the horse on the ass and let him split me up the middle. Do you want to talk about violence and then make a woman watch her man get destroyed that way with her child to bear witness to the evil? And so now y'all want to talk about violence. Oh, it's so violent. What you are doing now is what you have always done. You have always committed violence and genocide and mayhem against the human family. You ain't stopped. You just got more sophisticated. And I implore the human family to look at what you said. Don't let nobody pee on you, tell you it's raining. It has always been violence and the violence has been perpetrated by white men. White men. And they've gone all over the world with their violence. From King Leopold, listen, I, I don't, I don't want to go into this no further. How are we going to protect ourselves from all the violence that they have perpetrated against us? Half of us have been driven mad. OK, and we are so mad that we just go out there and bite each other and eat each other and do because we've been driven mad. It's going to take a phenomenon to wake them up and let them know who their natural enemy is. And all this misplaced anger ain't going to work because you're mad at the white man. You can't fight the white man, but he's perpetrating all this stuff against people, all of us. But he gets to, to, to be in charge and make the rules and go by his laws. And talking about his country when he jacked the shit, but he'll he'll go and, and, and arrest the carjacker. You a country jacker. You a human jacker. And I think it's time it be known who the hell you are. Stop letting them say that we the most violent. And they are the most violent. We gotta figure it out. We better figure it out. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.